will ask the user to enter its mark and uh, based on the mark it enters, we will assign grade to it. If it is more than 80, we will declare it as grade A. If it is more than 60 or equal to 60, then it is grade B and like that we will continue. So, let us first start with declaring our, in, our integer as num, it is a integer value, we will take it. Now, we will ask the user to enter his, uh, enter the mark, enter your mark. Now we will read this, can you, this uh, integer will take, so we will put a integer here, value m, we will use ampersand num, let us keep here, yeah. ok, so we got it. Now it is better we show what the people, uh, user have entered, so printf, uh, we'll write you entered uh, percentage d it's a integer so we are using like this and number so this is this will display whatever we enter the mark you entered this is now we will start our logic so here we will first use a if condition if num is greater than and equal to 80 because if someone scores 80 we have to give him grade also grade a also so it is 80 or more than 80 now let us write a printf come printf you got a grade fine so nothing great in that okay we are just if it is more than 80 or equal to 80 we will declare him as you got a grade now let us just copy this uh, we will use now else if why we are using else if? Because if the else if and we will change this to 60. Now greater than equal to 60 then it is B grade. Note that the difference here between if and else if. Suppose if you are not using else if then you are simply using if then in that case if any grade more than 60 or sorry any mark more than 60 say you entered 85 it is A grade and it is also more than 60, 85 is more than 60, so you will uh, declare him as B grade also. But we don't want to do that. We want only it should declare a, a grade. So here we are using if, and if this condition is remains false, then only this part will be checked. So this condition will be checked. Suppose if it you enter 85, then this part will not be checked because the first part is returned as true. That is the difference between using else if and using if. Now let us go to again use the copy this command, copy this, paste it here, we will say more than 40. If someone scores 40, we will declare him as C grade also. So more than 40, we go to here. Now let us, what happens if someone enters less than 40. So, here we will say if num is less than 40, is not equal to less than 40, you fail in this, in this exam. Okay, so this is, uh, we have distributed it, if it is less than 40, then it will go to the next or we can declare it as you have failed in this exam. So, let us see the total code once, I will compress it here. Yeah. So this much is our code, here we have asked the user to enter, now this is the condition we have put here up to this, so you can see more than 60. Now let us run this code, we are asked to enter our mark, let me enter 70, you enter 70, you got brigade, fine, I will just give little space here, so it will be enter your mark, now you entered give us space okay so now let us run it again so I will enter first uh, 85 a okay now let me close this run it again now let me enter uh, 34 you fail I will change the spelling again fine let us enter something let us say 60 because we have a equal to so you got b grade now 
this is how our grading and if else this is the most important part of it is the way else if is used here and this else if is checked only when if block is false.